What's going on everyone? The weather once again got the best of me and unfortunately last week I was completely KO, knocked out with, um, yeah I think that it was the flu or something, I don't know but I was, I was very very ill and once again my voice completely disappeared. That's like the second time in, in, in a year that my voice was completely gone. Um, first time I remember I was actually very, very worried about it because I had no idea what was going on. It was the first time that I had it, but this time I knew that eventually things would return back to its old state. So yeah, I had to wait a few days with this video guys, but nonetheless, here we are. Um, hardcore mode is released guys um, first of all let's start things off with a positive note um, they said that they would launch um, near the end of November beginning of December and they delivered timing wise they um, yeah they did what they said and that's a good thing then um, yeah second of all as you can see I already made my hardcore character um, named Slacky HC very creative I know right um, the quest in order to be able to create hardcore characters was absolutely awful. I didn't like it. I got very, very bored, but I am excited that I have my hardcore character. And, um, yeah, what I suggest is that I am going to start my, my adventure, my, my mission. Um, uh, we'll see how far that will get, guys. Um, I'm not really expecting too much of it. First of all, because I already... I'm already thinking a bit ahead, so I'm already worrying about when, what will we do once we um, reach like level 30, 40, 50, because the thing is guys, there are a lot of bugs in this game, and that's, I'm not trying to be a hater here, but that's just a fact, that's a well known issue, there are a lot of bugs, especially when it comes to bosses and their uh, red zones i mean red zone equals one hit equals that especially in this mode guys um it is very hard to survive when you're not sure whether or not a boss is a boss is working correctly or not but yeah we'll give it a go guys i mean i hated on it before it even got launched i kind of well, I, I don't really regret on it. I mean, it were it was my opinion and I, I'm not really planning on changing my opinion, but we do need to give it a go. So here we go, guys. I decided to, to make a rogue character, by the way. I'm not sure whether or not this was the best choice, but yeah, we'll see. What do you need to know about hardcore mode, guys? Well, first of all, I'm going to take all of my quests. Then second of all, what you need to know is that you can't, you can't stash any items, nor can you trade items. The auction house obviously also isn't available for um, hardcore characters. So you are really relying on luck here, guys. And I, yeah, you know my opinion about relying on luck, guys. I don't like it. I rather put in the volume, knowing that I am going to get rewarded for the for the effort and work that I did, instead of relying on luck. So I am worried that I am going to get frustrated very fast. But we'll see how things work out, guys. Let's start it off immediately. Basically, this is a, a reset of the regular AL, but then the hardcore mode. So if you ask me right now, Snacky, do you think this is going to make the old generation come back and give AL another go then my answer is very simple I highly highly doubt it guys I don't think that anyone is going to come back to give this mode a go um, but yeah we'll see how things work out guys I've been online like for 10 to 15 minutes for the last couple of days and to be quite honest guys there weren't that many people talking where's my peers there weren't that many people talking about hardcore mode um, I did see a bunch of people um, being angry about um, dying in, in stupid ways. So, yeah, lots of frustration apparently. Um, the Crake cannons, they can kill you. That's rather silly, but yeah, they can. Um, as you can see, I am not joined by anyone. So, yeah. That says a lot too. I mean, when I started AL, um, 
my map would be full with people immediately don't get me wrong i mean it was four people in the mob within a second not even exaggerating so yeah now we are doing this on a hardcore mode character and here i am completely by myself one thing which i do like is that they didn't re um, separate the hardcore players from the normal players in the cities because otherwise the towns would feel very very empty and it wouldn't really encourage people to come online and play so i'm happy that normal and, ha and hardcore are mixed together in the same cities we obviously can't pvp together nor are we able to to farm together but we are able to stand in the same cities and that's a good thing for the social aspect i think so yeah um meanwhile i am not really feeling the vibe from back in the day i am i am rather feeling slow guys i am missing on my speed set um I don't really know why anyone at all would bother on watching this, but I think that the video series might become interesting once that we once that we reach like level 20 to 30, then it's going to get interesting. Um I am going to avoid certain bosses uh, by the way. There's there is no chance that I am going to farm Alargon because he is the absolute king of the one hits. Then the second boss, that's the one in Jacked Trail. Not too sure whether or not I am going to give that one a go because his red zone is very very inaccurate and it would suck to die there because of, of, a, of a bug. Um, so yeah, it would be very frustrating I, I guess. So stop is about to die. We are level 3 by the way, so yeah, hey, very cool. Um, for, from what I have heard, it costs 1.6k in platinum in order to revive your hardcore character in case it dies. 1.6k is an absurd amount of platinum, guys. There is no chance that I will ever, ever revive my character. Never. I would pay a maximum of 20 platinum, I think. But yeah, they do that to avoid people just... Reviving, reviving, reviving. So I do get it from one point, from their po point of view. But then again, 1.6k is way too much. Let's see. Yay, I've got a be better weapon. Um, okay. I'm not too sure whether or not all my points are going to go into dexterity. Um, once we um, hit higher levels. But yeah, we'll see how things work out. Okay, so that is pretty cool. So we are going to unlock the next mob. Yeah, guys, the first video of this series is going to be boring. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned, guys. I think that it might get interesting the more far we progress in this series. So if you want rage, I assure you I will rage the day that I die. And I will die, obviously. Everyone dies at one point or another. Okay, so, yeah. need to make sure that I collect all of my daily quests, as I do think that they grant a lot of experience, so that is pretty cool. Uh, okay. Woohoo. There's a thread on the forum, by the way, it's called Your Expectations for Arcane Legends in 2019. Um, yeah, I mean, people... Uh, my advice for you is don't bother on writing your ideas down because there is no chance that the team actually is going to, to consider anything written down there. So here I am trying to save you some time, guys. I'm going to make a video, by the way. Um, I don't really know when because I'm still struggling with my voice. You can't hear it, but I act, my throat is actually hurting. So um, that video is going to be about... The 2018 thread, the thread where just G posted his um, ideas and his his um, plans for the upcoming year, which is the year which is about to end. So um, we, are, we are going to review that thread and have a look on how good the things actually are because they made a lot of promises and, and to be quite honest guys, I feel like they didn't really deliver on most of those promises. So. We need to have a discussion about that very, very soon, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, that is upcoming. Stay tuned for that video. Once my throat doesn't hurt that much anymore, I'm immediately going to make it. 
Uh, one thing which I also can't really be bothered about is that pink name. I mean, I'd rather just have my white name. There's no need for me to have a pink name. It's stupid. It's silly. Fanboys will be all over the place. I know, but I don't really care about it. We are level 5 already, guys. Yay. When is this video going to rebel? Let's, let's try to get level 7 or 8. I wanted to say level 10, but I think I will, will have died from boredom before I reached level 10, so... It's not too exciting at all. So... Need to make sure that I don't use too many potions either, because I am really short on gold and it is like... Yeah, it's really hardcore mode now, guys. Every coin counts, so... No more blowing away thousands and thousands of mana potions. We need to make sure that we pick up all of the gold. Um, if we can save on mana potions, we need to do that, which is very hard for a rogue, especially a rogue with my playstyle. And as you know, I on my 71 normal rogue, I, yeah, I use thousands and thousands of potions. I mean... I use one health potion for every five mana potions. It's something absurd like that. So, not even exaggerating like crazy. It sucks that I have to pause the video every five seconds because I need to cough, but whatever. Hope you guys won't notice anything of it. And if you do, me message me, let me know, and I'll filter it out. Okay. Another quest equals another experience bonus. I mean, 10 experience. What is this? Jesus. Oh my goodness, he is so slow. This is not my thing, I guess. But yeah, I'm thinking about positive things to talk about while doing this hardcore mode. But for now, there isn't really anything positive at all. I mean... The fanboys on the forum seem to be happy, but you need to keep in mind, guys, that it's only a handful of people, those fanboys. So you have like, like a dozen, let's say like 10 to 12 really, really hardcore fanatics. Like if Space Time Studios tomorrow says, hey guys, you, we want you to jump into, um, into a pile full with shit, they will actually do that, guys. They will do that with their head up, with their head up high. Just because they are fanboys and they love the game, like, really, really do. I have respect for those type of players, guys, don't get me wrong, but I mean, there is no no chance that those people are, are capable of giving um, neutral feedback without fanboying all over the place. So yeah, I mean, it's a handful of them, they will defend Space Time Studios through good and bad. Um, once again, I respect that, but by doing this, you, you filter out feedback which is actually constructive so yeah i mean the forum it's all sunshine and happiness or how, how do you say that um but i wish they would allow people to express their real thoughts and opinions about the current state of the game because i just started hardcore mode and to be quite honest with you people i am yeah it just feels like i am just grinding up an, an alt with the difference that I am really relying on luck here, that um, that I can't really build anything up. I have one chance. If I ruin it, I die. I lose everything. I have to start all over. I can't imagine doing this all over again. This is so extremely boring, guys. I must say that it is not as boring as leveling up from 60... What was it? 66 to 71 to... That was absolutely awful and by far the worst experience I ever had leveling up in this game. My goodness was that a catastrophe, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we need to pay attention that we don't die here. Do I have, do I not have any better gear? Aha, uh -huh. hey guys, whoa, slack. Baller. Yeah, 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 Look at me with the pro gear. Oh la la. Beautiful. Right. Okay, let's do this too. Well, that we're at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm going to use Razor Shield this time, I think. No more SSS. Let's just unlock that skill. Damn it. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, Nox Bolt, the most important skill. Ho, ho, how stupid am I? Right, let's go. Uh, okay. Oh, by the way, for the people who are interested in my last video, I know that it's only a handful of you who actually listened through the entire thing, but remember what, where I discussed a um, a poker tournament where I won a free roll and I got entered into a in a in a, in a tournament with a buy-in of five thousand three hundred American dollars. Well, guys, this was a, an event which lasted three days. So the first day was on the when was it twenty fifth of November, I think. Uh, I told you guys about it, and guys, believe it or not, but I actually managed to survive the first day. So I am still in that tournament. Tomorrow is day two and guys I am even more excited than that I already was um, for day one so I expected to get eliminated pretty fast but I actually I didn't really get into any nasty situation so I am still in it guys I still have a chance to to cash in it which would be an absurd accomplishment for me so yeah um thumbs up for me if you support me please think about me tomorrow at 8 um i can use all of the support really appreciate it um my chances on cashing are like very very low guys i mean i am in a tournament with the very best of the world and better i mean i am not making myself any illusions i am really relying on luck um not on skill because all of those people are better but i have two Cards just like they have and yeah there's always the chance guys always the dream the chance i am normally not that optimistic about anything but oh my goodness am i excited for this tournament guys i really really hope that i am going to not disappoint myself and actually make something out of it but yeah we'll see guys i'll keep you guys updated um but i yeah i, I thought Let's give the guys a little heads up, the people who heard me talk about it last time. So yeah, I'm still in the tournament, guys. Um, I'm as surprised as you are. And yeah, let's see, yeah, guys. I mean, oh, I'm so excited for it. I actually contacted a guy who I think is very good at it and I asked him for advice. But yeah, I got big time, basically. He didn't bother on responding, which, which is fine. I mean, I understand. Those people probably get... A dozen of messages per day so who, who is he to i mean why on earth would they help an average random joe Smo from god knows where with his question about his first big buy-in but yeah we'd have really appreciated if he would have responded but whatever it is what it is um i managed to get into day two completely by myself without the help of others Meanwhile, we are um, about to run out of mana potions, so I was just talking about how I was going to try and pay attention that I don't use too much mana potions. As you can see, guys, that mission, that objective has completely failed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can't help it, guys. I automatically press the button. I mean, well, who am I to not do that? I mean... My dogs are barking downstairs. I hope that you can't hear it. Otherwise, I'll have to redo the video and my voice already is killing me. So, let's invest all of the skill points first of all. Should we? Yeah, yeah, we need the Nox bolt. Uh, is this Nox? No. Whoa, fail me. Just like I have it on Slack. There you go. Did I... Talk to the NPC, okay. My pad is tired, guys. I'm actually going to rotate. Let's see, do I have two pads? Okay, I also have Barney, that's quite cool. So we are level eight, guys, yay! I think that the boss in, in Rook's guard is actually, that he's capable of killing me. So we need to pay close attention once that we enter Rook's guard. Or Rook's nest, that is, so yeah. Uh, really really trying to pay attention that I don't use any mana potion right here's the boss I need to, I need a bit of mana now I know I know
Imagine he won it kills me. Oh, I would be disappointed. I would have to delete the video. Do these mobs give experience? Also need to open all of the chests. I tend to forget that for sure. Let's see, are there any chests here? Maybe the barrels drop gold too, I'm not too sure. This is a little reminder though from back in the day because I I forgot almost all of it, but yeah. Vaguely, things are coming back now. Here's the refugee, is going to give me experience and a bit of gold, I think. Yep. That is pretty cool. Off to the gold mine. I would be happy if we would have someone joining us here. I'm feeling lonely. Is that weird? Why isn't anyone in here? It's weird, guys, that we haven't seen anyone so far. You'd expect this game mode to be a bit more popular, right? Maybe all of the pros already started their characters and they're already all near level 71 and stuff. Please, okay. Find fighter, I'm going to find fighter. Like, I've never found fighter before. I'm going to skip on that quest where we need to come back five times. So guys, I hate that quest. It is extremely boring. I mean, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Razor Shield is pretty good. Boom, 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 boom. You can open locked on hardcore mode, but I think that, yeah, you'll lose everything if you die, so careful what you do. There's still no better gear. Jesus, bro. Aha, uh -huh. we're doing business now. And a ring. Jesus. <laughs> ah, come on. Ay, ay, ay. You're really relying here. Uh, should we use it? Yeah, we actually are going to do that, guys. Wow, Jesus, baller. What am I doing? What am I doing? What is this? Huh? Voila. And then one point left, guys. One point. Yeah, buddy. Imagine laying here now, died while doing the skill thing. I am going to die in a fail way. I already know about that, guys. Right, we're about to hit level 9. Jesus. Need some background music for, for videos like this, by the way. Someone suggested it in my comment section uh, um, on my last video, and I actually completely agree with the dude, but it's pretty hard to find something which suits the game and which suits my voice and which isn't really too much 
had to load and stuff, so I'll have to 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 investigate. I was I was sick last week. I didn't feel like doing it at all. I didn't feel like doing anything last week. I my yeah 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 guys. Actually visited the doctor, and that was like the second time in years. Right. We are, I wanted to say we are about to reach the boss, but I am not too sure if we actually are. We need a guild tool so that we can buy guild potions and stuff in the uh, guild hall instead of from the store page because they are maximum priced if you buy them here in the mob in the dungeon itself so that's stupid i think that in the even in the taverns they are cheaper so yeah boom level 9 that's cool we wanted i actually maybe we can do level 10 i mean we are at level 9 i mean so close we got 20 experience turning in this quest so yeah we get we're going to go to level 10 and then we're going to wrap it up guys then in the next video we're going to go from level 10 to level 20 i first want to see your guys um feedback on this video your ideas your um experiences especially and then um we can yeah carry on but i first need your guys input obviously because if you guys don't like this content then um I, I can still make the videos, but I mean, there's no real rush in doing so. But yeah, first, first 20 minutes, 25 minutes of playing are over. Um, am I having fun? Not really. I, I more see it as an, an, a task in order to get to the more quote unquote fun stages. So. Yeah, I'm not really getting excited for it either. I'm just being very, very bored. I'm worried about dying because I already know if I die, I have to do all of this over. And I, 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 I think that lots of people level up to by joining one of their high level friends and they then clean the entire dungeon for them. That That is what would make most sense for me. Yeah, here I am. I'm doing everything completely by myself. Oh, Slacky Pro, bro. I mean, yeah. Okay. Yep. We are reaching the boss right now, I think. Okay. Come on. Wait. Yeah, we should reach level 10, come up. Boom. Wait, here's the boss, guys. Let's hope that this big boy is going to give us a big chunk of experience. Sorry for not keeping this one under 15 minutes, guys, but this first video we needed a bit more of time. I didn't speak with you people for like a week. I was sick. Had to update you on what was happening. So yeah, I am still on track. On my goal to make one video per week. Um, I'm actually proud that I am actually going to pull that off. Unless I die within... Before the end of the year. Like in the next three weeks. If I die, then I didn't make reach my goal. But if I survive, then normally... We should be... We should have achieved our goal and that's, yeah, that's massive for me because I'm not really good in, in keeping my goals and targets. So we got the Speed Slayer achievement point, 230 gold. That's quite cool. Another quest is about to be completed. Boom. Yeah, Goblin Mine completed, ready to turn in. Give me a bit of experience for it, 50 experience. I'll take it every day of the week. That is cool, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Bernie. Bernie is going to turn into... Come on, a, a nice amount. Woohoo. Okay, so we are entering Traveler's Outpost right now. We are so close to level 10, so 
I'm going to... Maybe there's a quest which we can turn in so we have level 10. Should be pretty... Yeah, here it is, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hoppa. Oof. Look, no. Ay, toch. Oh, man. What an... <laughs> this is just jinxing us, I think. How much experience are we short? Three. That's like one mob or something. Jesus Christ. Please, a hero call hail. What is this? I got it because I turned in the quest. There you go, guys. Hey, is this even a doable quest? Hold it. I don't know whether we can pull this one off. Because these are pirates and pirates equals Kraken. And Kraken I thought it was like for level 20s or something. No? It's not that hard, I guess, that it scales down to your level. Yeah, level 10 is in the pocket. Next video, we are going to go for level 20. This is boring. Boring. Cop. I really need the Mala, guys. Come up. My goodness, guys, let me know in the comment section. How are you experiencing this? Are you enjoying this? Um, is your appetite for playing, is it going down like mine currently is? Or are you actually excited? Are you like enjoying this? Are you happy about it? Do you think this is the future of AL? Do you think this is the end of AL? Because, yeah, I mean, I don't know guys. I am very curious to read your people's input. I really am. Captain Swag is he one hit? Imagine that motherfucker killing me, guys. Come up. Not really hitting me, it seems. Or he's do or I'm dodging his, his brutal attacks. No idea, but he's dead. Give us experience, give us a good chunk of gold. Yeah, we looted a pendant. I think that we didn't have one of those yet, so okay. Where do we go now? All aboard the thing here. Okay, perfect, guys. Time to wrap up part one of the. How, do you, how are you going to call this video series? Um, I might have to think about it, guys, but you'll see in the title what I, what I came up with, so. Boom. Ooh, 100 experience. That I do like. What's this? Huh? Ah, yeah. A new title. Ooh, yay. Let's see what happens when I click auction. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I'd like a loser there. Hey, yo, bro, with an age at the end. I, uh, oh, didn't I not collect Clays? I wouldn't mind getting a, an egg now from Clays. I really wouldn't mind. Guys, thank you so much for watching the first video. Let me know in the comment section what your, your first um, experiences with hardcore mode are. Are you continuing? Are you liking it? Have you died? Have you got enraged? Have you had fun? Let, all of it. I want all of it, guys. And I'll respond to every single one of you in detail. Unless your post doesn't make sense, then I'll just um, heart it. But I am going to read on everything. So...
Thank you for watching. Next video will be there once I feel like it, but definitely before Thursday. Stay tuned for that one. Peace.